In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. St. Rose of Lima, whose feast we celebrate today, died in 1617 at the age of 31. She was a third order Dominican who devoted herself to her family by raising money to keep them alive through her beautiful lace work. But in addition to being that, and caring for her family, she cared for the whole family of God, and that anyone who came to her door, especially the poor or the sick, received from her the loving mercy of God. So on this her feast day, let us ask her to instill in us that same reverence for the poor and the sick around us. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I am afraid to sin with my thoughts and in my words, and what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> Let us pray. O oh God, you set St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world, in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession, we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the beginning of the book of Ruth. Once in the time of the judges, there was a famine in the land. So a man from Bethlehem of Judah departed with his wife and two sons to reside on the plateau of Moab. Eli Malik, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Oprah and the other Ruth. When they had lived there about ten years, both Malon and Kilian died also, and the woman was left with neither her two sons nor her husband. She then made ready to go back from the half plateau of Moab because word reached her there that the Lord had visited his people and given them food. Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye, but Ruth stayed with her. Naomi said, See now, your sister-in-law has gone back to her people and her God. Go back after your sister-in-law. But Ruth said, Do not ask me to abandon or forsake you. For wherever you go, I will go. Wherever you lodge, I will lodge. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. Thus it was that Naomi returned with the Moabite daughter-in-law Ruth, who accompanied her back from the plateau of Moab. They arrived in Bethlehem at the beginning of the barley festival. The word of the Lord. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. Blessed is he whose God is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who made heaven and earth. 
the sea, and all that is in them. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who are bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God will Zion through all generations. Alleluia. Praise, Praise the Lord, Lord, my soul. Alleluia. flows out 
of God's love. Why then, though, is it so difficult to love God and our neighbor? And the answer is because we are frail human beings who sin. It's really as simple as that. Every day, Jesus calls us to love God more deeply. Through his words and ministry, the Lord Jesus teaches us how to live our lives in love, in his love. But just in case we don't get the message, he shows us what perfect love looks like. We see that every time we look at the crucifix, the image of Christ crucified on the cross. Every time we receive the Eucharist, we are reminded what true love really is. After all, Jesus didn't die for us because it was a law, but rather because he loved his heavenly Father and he loved his neighbors perfectly. Let us stand. Christ in glory bears the wounds he made his own and offers them to us as the pledge of his transforming love. And so in faith we pray. Our son, our son responds is, Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. Lord, we ask you hear our prayer. You knew the pain of torture, Lord. Have mercy on those who suffer torture and death in our day. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. You knew the unbearable burden of the cross. Have mercy on those who fall under the burden of life and suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. You knew the anguish of abandonment. Have mercy on those who have been abandoned. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. For the sick among us, for those who care for them, for all who have asked for our prayers, for all those who have preceded us into eternal life, we remember and especially in our intentions today, Gary Rank. We pray to the Lord. Lord, we ask you, hear our prayer. And now in the silence of our hearts, let us lift up to the Lord our own personal needs. O God of mercy and of love, hear us in our sin and grant us your forgiveness as we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands, for the grace of the Lord is in the name, for the Lord is in the name. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Blessed Virgin Rose of Lima, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so to our dutiful service, may find favor in your sight, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are praised in the company of your saints, and in the crowning of their merits, you crown your own gifts. By the way of life, you offer us an example. By communion with them, you give us companionship. By their intercession, sure support, so that encouraged by so great a cloud of witnesses, we may run as victors in the race before us and win with them the imperishable crown of glory. <coughs> and so with the angels and archangels and with great multitude of the saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God, present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when as once for the disciples so now for us he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread therefore father most merciful we ask that you send forth your holy spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine that they may become for us the body and blood of our lord jesus christ on the day before he was to suffer on the night of the last supper he took bread and said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have 
As we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son in whose body and blood we have communion. And so having called us to your table, Lord, confirm us in unity, so that together with Francis our Pope and Gerald our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and your entire people, as we walk your ways with faith and hope, we may strive to bring joy and trust into the world. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us when our earthly pilgrimage is done that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Apostles and Martyrs, St. Rose of Lima, and with all the saints, who shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may, be, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us share with one another a sign of our peace in the Lord Jesus. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
There is one thing I ask of the Lord, only this do I seek, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of Blessed Rose of Lima, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.